Tokyo of Pittsburgh International Airport, reminding you to please hold on as this train departs from the airside terminal, shops and restaurants, and for all days. I'm here at O'Hare International Airport in uh, Chicago. Um, so right now I'm heading to uh, my next flight, which is uh, gate C-17. Uh, we're heading to Minnesota from there. Um, so I'll pick it up one second. The is now Alright guys, so we're about to board the plane and uh, head out to Minnesota, so um, yeah, pick it up there. Welcome to Minneapolis local time, approximately 9.01 a.m. We will be texting for the next few minutes. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened until the captain has turned off the fast the seatbelt sign. Alright guys, so we got our uh, luggage right now. Uh, we're outside um, here in Minneapolis. Uh, and uh, right now we're going to Uber to the hotel where uh, I'll be rooming with uh, Tommy Kilway, our captain. Um, so uh, he's already there, so I just got to pick up a key and drop my stuff off. and. Uh, should be good to go. So uh, let's get an Uber and let's get going. All right, guys. So a quick update. We're here in the elevator. Uh, we're heading up to the room, and uh, then we'll go to the rank, and we'll pick it up there. They were like one. YouTube video. We got the camera, boys. What we got? What we got here? Why is B missing on my right hand? Because you are, right? Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Very good, right? Okay. 61165. <laughs> what Cherokee? Gang gang, oh my god. 
They're gonna hunt you down for that, you know that, right? Cherokee, okay. stop. <laughs> God, I know they are. What time do we go on the stop edge? it! I'm going back to the 4 15. I think. So it doesn't make surprise I don't come back. Okay. That's, I know what happened then. I didn't know that I was bringing it up. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Good afternoon and welcome to Schwann Super Rank, rank number four in this afternoon's contest between the Rochester Grizzlies and the Oswego Stampede. I'm Matt Winthrop, the voice of the Rochester Grizzlies, joined alongside by Matt Kenyon, the voice of the St. Louis Junior Blues. So Matt, pleased to have you with me today. Glad to be with you here, Matt. Uh, I guess to make it easier for the fans, uh, if you just want to refer to me as MK, that's that's what most of our team, make, our team calls me. And, um, so we don't confuse each other in yeah. case, you know, Matt number one, Matt number two is something along those lines. Yeah, yeah it's easier for everybody. So glad to be with you here, though. As again, the first meeting between these two teams, the showcase brings a lot of different teams facing each other that don't normally see each other. In a matchup between the Grizzlies out of the West and the Stampede out of the Northeast. Stampede coming in at 11 11 1 and 1 on the year. It's good for 24 points, and the Grizzlies sit at 17 and 6. Good for third place in the West Division. Do the right thing this time, he does, and this puck comes up to Leeson. He's pretty much at the end of a shift. Pass across, Newman with a shot. He scores! Lucas Newman buries a feed from Nick Leeson, and the Grizzlies take the 1 0 lead with 5.23 to go in the first period. Pass across, Zebo. Oh, and they score! Great passing play, and it's finished off by DeRosa. And the Grizzlies take a 2 0 lead just a minute six in the second period. Maybe we have a couple off that I didn't understand either. A pass in front of this score again. DeRosa gets his second of the game, and Zabo with a beautiful feed. And the Grizzlies, a 3 0 lead as we are just a 4 46 into this second period. You know, if you're, if you're coach, you know, for the Rochester Grizzlies, you're probably telling the guys, don't let off the gas pedal. And then if you're a Mike Davis, a Oswego head coach is just maybe saying, take advantage of some of these turnovers you're getting. Here's Sorokin, a good pass in front. Oh, and they score again. It's Peyton Hart off a beautiful feed from Vladislav Sorokin. And the Grizzlies extend their lead to 4 0 with 9.47 to go in the second on Hart's sixth goal of the season. Neutral zone. Where it's taken back by Marco Zaragoida. Pass just a little too hot for Gula. Christou, a pass across, a good feed, and they score. What a feed. As now Barry and that one was Nick Snyder, and Oswego has finally cracked the board and now trails 4-1. to one. They took the page right out of the Grizzlies' playbook. Sent it cross ice on the back door, and nobody defending Snyder on that goal, and he had all the room and all the space to just lift it up on the top shelf for that first goal. But, you know, again, Matt, like we said, it all started with just another turnover in the defensive zone for the Grizzlies, and Oswego takes advantage of it. Get to that a point. quick shot, and they score as Bacon. You know, you say time is a factor in Bacon. He putting the nail in the coffin in this one is a great wrist shot from the point. That somehow snuck past White as he gets his ninth goal of the year to get the Grizzlies a 5-1 to one lead. Oh, Peyton Hart has it. He's got a goal tonight. His pass attempt gets blocked. With five seconds left, Sorokin will corral the puck, and that'll do it. So final score, 5-1 to one in favor of the Rochester Grizzlies over the Oswego Stampede. So a good way to open the showcase for the Grizzlies. We'll be back at it again tomorrow. Thanks, bro.
could do it. No, it's not bad. Guffy Gallo hey. at Joey Gallo 22 on Instagram. Put it right here. Right there. Show it again. All right, right there. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Woo! Look at him go. What? We need though. <laughs> That's another. It's gotta be. I mean, like, probably. Good morning and welcome to today's broadcast between the Bozeman Ice Dogs and the Oswego Stampede. I'm John Collin. I'll be your announcer for today's game. It's a matchup of two teams who usually don't see much of each other during the regular season. It's the Oswego Stampede from New York in the Northeast Division, where they sit currently in second place, facing off against the Frontier Division's third place team in the Bozeman Ice Dogs. The Ice Dogs started off the showcase with a 5-1 win over the Skyline Kings, while the Oswego Stampede fell to the Rochester Grizzlies by a score of 5-1. So, story of two teams with two different narratives right now. Bows and Ice Dogs looking to keep the momentum going, while Oswego Stampede are looking to shift momentum into their favor. So with that, both teams come to center ice. And as puck drops, it's controlled here Check by the Ice Dogger, by Kanick and... Still regrouping within their own end. The Stampede look to get a rush going. Bear receives. He'll fire a pass and over to Mickle, and Mickle will dump it on in. Back to receive it here is Canna. Canna's going to grab it. He's going to have some open space, and he'll use it. He's going to lead a two-on-two -two back ahead the other way. He's got McKay with him. He just throws a soft shot on net. Where it'll be covered for a face-off. Here by Burgess. Out in front here. For Bozeman, picked up here by Smolden. Smolden within the slot, tries to fire a chance, goes off the glove there of Burgess and almost trickled in over his head, but it's finally gathered here by Morse, and Morse looks to start up a rush now. Morse fires a try, hits off the post, and ends up going wide. They hit the near side post as a one is unable to be covered there. Line tries to go back on a mechanic, and Kanick tried to put it up top to the point before it gets broken on up, and Kanick's going to get it back in the slot, short 2 one, one. Pine back on over to Kanick, Kanick shoots, he scores! Kanick breaking the scoreless game. He puts it in the back of the net. He gets his 63rd point of the year, which is just absolutely mind-boggling. Great pass that he received from Pine. Pine picks up his ninth helper on the year, and Kanick will pick up his 14th That's goal. Over the boards, picked up here by Heimer. Heimer loses it. It's going to be three on one back ahead the other way. Front of the offensive zone here by Christo. He's going to take it for himself. He scores! Christo with an absolute snipe of a shot. Bar down, and it's a one-to-one -one game now. The three-on-one quickly became a three-on-two as Bozeman player was able to come back on the back check. So Christo took it for himself and fired an absolute rocket of a shot. Going bar down, it's a tie game, and that is exactly what Stampede needed. Morin getting his third goal and only his second game here for the Ice Dogs. Great awareness there. That whole play got started by Kellerman. As he was able to take the shot that zipped off the stick of Killaway and it went all around to the near side boards. He was able to put a nice pass on over to Luke McKay. McKay crisscrossing in the zone, left for Morin, and Morin able to bury it. Heimer tries to bang it off the glass and catch Panic. Kept in here by Gullick, though. Killaway's pass gets broken up. He's able to pick it up, and he shoots, and he scores! Killaway tying the game early within the third period, and Oswego start off the final frame right. Beautiful shot there by Killaway as he was able to beat the goaltender glove side. He originally was trying to send a pass on over to 
Looked like he was trying to send it on over to Christo on the opposite side of the ice on the far side, however. Wasn't able to get it on over to him and picked up the loose change after the missed pass and just fired it past. Level Kari stick. Here for Gallo. Gallo up top here for Morris. Morris takes a look, then over to Hart. One time, he scores! Hart puts the Oswego Stampede in front on a power play blast from the point. And with that, the Stampede get a third period lead. Gallo to Morris, then Morris to Hart. Gets it back with the give and go. And it's finally put into the defensive zone of Bozeman. And with that, the Oswego Stampede advanced to one and one on the weekend with a three to two thriller victory against the Ice Dogs. It's a comeback victory at that. And the team comes to celebrate with goaltender Burgess. He had some really good saves here within this final frame. Plenty of great goals for the Stampede throughout this game. Killaway with a goal as well as Christo and Hart as well. So the Oswego Stampede edging the Bozeman Ice Dogs in a 3-2 game. Both these clubs have got one more game to be played here. Yeah, bro, do we get food, though? It's not, bro. It's the whole thing. Anywhere but the front. Door. We're not. We're not good enough for Can we still, for like, food here. Yeah, we'll just get food right here. Hey, boys, we're in. We're in candy. Don't let the college scouts see that, buddy. Sorry, sorry. See what? All right, we out here, bro. Last game of the last game of the season. We're not good enough to make it to the playoffs. This is where we're gonna. This is where we're gonna end. So we go stampede. Last season, coach doesn't want the team next year, so he's selling it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a good day. Just gonna send it. Shut up. God damn it, you. So awkward. Just gonna send it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna hit me with your belt. I was dying. He put it. He put it in there like the last video. He just blacked it out when he did it in the locker room. I was dying. Yeah, Coach never mentioned that. No, <laughs> no, no. He just mentioned the Safe beer support. <laughs> just my ass hanging over all over the place. That was fun. Is that thing rolling? Yeah, it's rolling. Do you have any pregame comments? Hey, Hi. That works. All, four, all right. Let's win. Let's win. Let's win. Hockey. Yeah. Hockey. Hockey. Let's yeah. Hockey. Let's do that. Hockey. Yeah, Coleman, Coleman do that says hockey. it too. Drop a comment. It's better. U.S. or Canada. Oh yeah, all right, we'll do a poll. Um, in the comments section below, everybody, uh, say which is better, uh, US or Canada, and we'll tally up the votes, and yeah, obviously US. We're here to pump you up. I can't. No, you were born in the US. Cut it out. You're a fucking retard. Yeah. I actually was. He's born in Japan, hey. which was actually Throw back. soil because he was born on the base. No, yeah. Candy, it was too low. Well. Well. I could run for office if I wanted to. No. Oh, almost. No thanks. But don't worry, Cherokee. I'll cut it out. I did catch it. I know. He's almost got it. Try to pull it down. I could eat. Marco, pull it down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Marcos. Just hold, there's a hole over there. Let's push it towards that little hole. Hey. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Dude, we missed it! Bro, I was trying to get the camera out. I just saw the whole fight, so. Are you serious? Hi, boy, why are they Don't get any fucking ideas, please. We need another one. Yeah, this is like a good idea. Oh! Jeez. Oh, yeah. This is a good Jeez. one. There are two pranks. Yeah, there's only like two. Oh, yeah. Oh. Scott, we got hey, look, 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 they can see a watch come out. Look at it. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> All right, folks. We're ready for the opening face off. Stars 0-2 on the weekend, Stampede 1-1. Stars looking to try to get their first win on the last day. Lynn with the pass through neutral zone, couldn't get it there. Campbell will send it back the other way. Chance for Lynn. Fed out in front, shot, 
stopped, scored! Muckensturm came through and got the rebound in the slot and put it by Burgess. Blown tire by Leonard. Keeps him from putting the shot on net. Now a three on one. Gallo into the zone. Pass across. Save made. Scored! Not sure who tapped that in. Initially, Kinsinger made the save. And I believe sprawling on the play was Carlson. Made the puck hop up in the stampede. Able to bat it out of the air. Gallo. Zargoisha to Morris on the hash. Back to Zargoisha on the point. Back to the hash. Back to the point again. Long shot. Back door. Scored! Tapped in by Joey Gallo. The stampede get the power play goal. Zone. Comes back to Spites. Weaving his way through. Into the left circle. Trying to go wrap around. And did he tuck it in? And they say it's a goal! To Lynn. Lynn trying to get it into the slot. Turned over. Here's Gullick into the zone. It's three on two. Pass back. Shot scored by Snyder. Just a good shot by Nick Snyder. Puts it under the crossbar. With 4.06 to go, the Stampede grabbed the lead. Goal line. Buffington, long shot. Scored! Bouncing puck. We're tied with 3.51 to go. It'll be Spikes, Snyder, and Muckenstern. For the Stars. Gullick will take the draw. He's got Hart. And Zaragoycia. One by the Stars comes the near side boards. Picked up by Schneider. For Salima. Back to Lynn. Back to Salima. And Lynn tied up with the referee. There's a penalty, delayed penalty here on the Stampede. Salima delaying as they get Clark Silva to the bench. It'll be a four-on-three power play for the Stars. Up top for Snyder. His shot scored! He'll get the game winner on a power play goal in overtime as he beats Burgess blocker side. Just 22 seconds into the power play. The Stars ecstatic. They go one and two on the weekend. But it feels a lot better to go home with the long bus ride on the last day with the W, even if you lost the first two. Meanwhile, Oswego, they finished the weekend 1-1-1. One, one